I think the you know you uh, you have to acknowledge the reality, regardless of your which end of the ideological spectrum you're on, that this idea that the relationship between uh, a corporation and a, a worker is an entirely voluntary one is a figment of our imagination. The reality is that the relationship depends upon the balance of power. Because if you were to really believe that it's to totally a voluntary relationship, then you should be arguing for child labor because that was legal at one time and that was argued as a beneficial thing for the economy. We're so moving, we have to we're understand that so it's a balance away of power. From whether we need uh, customers with more money to have that, um, uh, that base, but we'll be addressing some of the um, underage working here shortly. Ben. Yeah, Your I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll refrain from, from talking about child labor, especially given the fact that the, the rationale for child labor laws is that children are incapable of consent, right? I mean, that's, that's the rationale Although for child labor Although your child laws. did appear on television last night. She did, I without think. her consent. So. But I will, and I will tell you that she immediately joined SAG The, the rationale for child labor to be legal was that ch children are exploitable, more exploitable. That's why businesses wanted it, and people had to fight well, against isn't it. it. Businesses may want it, but the fact is that the children are not capable of consent, which is why the legislation was appropriate from all ideological points of view. In terms of, in terms of whether, the, basically this trickle up economics, this idea that if you pay people $15 an hour, it will help the general economy. It, it's, it's evidencing a, a differential point of view with regard to how money is invested and what makes your life as a consumer better. The truth is, the truth is, that you know, Mother Teresa did less good for the world than Bill Gates, as a general matter. Because more people gained their jobs through Bill Gates, more people have a product that Bill Gates created, more people's lives have been bettered through Bill Gates. Mother Teresa did a lot of wonderful things. But the reality of the situation is that what makes your life better than people's lives were 50 years ago is all the new products and services developed by all the rich people who hire you. All of you out there who I'm sure are not rich, are you working for a poor person right now? Who is hiring you? Who's paying your salary? Unless you're working for the government, and even then you're not, paying, you're not working for a poor person, you're paying for the rich people who actually pay the taxes that pay for you to work for the government. So this idea that economic growth is a function of people making $15 an hour versus $14 an hour is simply not true. The, re the reality of the situation is that what makes the economy grow is new products and services that make your life better and which require millions of dollars in research and development. And as far as the point that was made about the salary of the CEO of Walmart, all I can say is this. See, the Walmart has approximately, they're the biggest employer in the country. They have something on the order of, of 2 million employees across the country. Let, let's say we agree that 20 million is too much. And let's say that we cut that salary to zero. Great, we just gave everybody 10 bucks, right, for the year. So let's, let's stop pretending that the, the vast wealth imbalance inside Walmart is causing poverty for people at the bottom. <laughs> 